Hi everybody, in today's puppet show we did Romans 7 and 8. My name is Connor and I'm going into 8th grade and I'm 13 years old and in this puppet show I played Joe. Hi, I'm Hayden, I'm 13 and I'm also going into 8th grade and I played Paul in this puppet show. Hi, I'm Walker and I'm going to 4th grade and I played Jimmy in this puppet show. Oh, what a spectacular night last night. Yeah, we probably like being canceled with them too bad. Because we did our own. Poppers, snacks, parachutes, spinners, fountains. Roman candles, snakes, and even strobes. The fountain one that changes colors was like a rainbow in the middle of, the, of our street. The colors were all over the place. Up in the sky, on the street, red, white, and blue everywhere. We waved our American flag to celebrate America's birthday since 1776, and we were all patriotic, even our cupcakes. Yeah, well, it was fun until he took the last cupcake, and I never got one. You knew Mom was saving that for me. Well, you hopped on my steering when, it, when you knew it was my turn. Dad told you to sweep the deck, and by the way, I saw you playing on the deck, not sweeping. I was thinking about spiders to go. I forgot to sweep, but I... Well, I meant to. You still owe me a cupcake. I will buy them the next time we go to the store with mom, but wait. I spent all my money on gum, soda, and a, a new really cool Xbox game. I actually got two games, but I wish I had that money to buy you a cupcake. Uncle, Uncle Paul. Paul! I hear you all just digging each other. But really, here is the law I find working in me. When I want to do good, evil is right there with me. Deep inside me, I find joy in God's law. But I see another law working in the parts of my body. It fights against the law of my mind. It makes me a prisoner of the law of sin. That law controls the parts of my body. What a terrible failure I am. Who will save me from this sin that brings death to my body? I give thanks to God. He will do it through Jesus Christ our Lord. So you struggle to Uncle Paul? I feel like I always am so tempted. Tempted. I want to do good, but my body carries something else. Yes, in my mind, we are all slaves to God's law, but in my sinful nature, I am a slave to the law of sin. So if we always want to follow God's ways, but we accidentally always mess up, does God still love us? Absolutely. Those who bring to, to Jesus Christ are no longer under God's sentence. I am now controlled by the law of the Holy Spirit. That law gives me life of what Christ Jesus has done. He has set me free from the law of sin that brings death. I know Jesus died for me, and because I always gave my heart to him, the Holy Spirit helps me. Jesus forgives me, right? Yes, he died for you, me, and Joe, for all of us. He cleanses up of us of our sins when we ask, and we know the written law was made weak by our sinful nature. But God did what the written law could not do. He made his son to be like those who have a sinful nature. He sent him to be an offering for sin. In that way, he judged, he judged sin in his son's human body. Now we can do everything the law requires. Our sinful nature no longer controls the way we live. The Holy Spirit now controls the way we live. Jimmy, I'm sorry for being all wrapped up in myself. On the 4th of July, I was so excited about the fun and celebrations that I forgot to be kind. Yeah, me too. No, I'm sorry, Uncle Paul. We do have the Holy Spirit in us. We just need to ask God to forgive us and to lead us over the selfish desires. Now that's the Spirit. Now that's having the Holy Spirit in you. Don't live under the control of your sinful nature. If you do, you will think about what your sinful nature wants. Live under the control of the Holy Spirit. If you do, you will think about what the Holy Spirit wants. That the way a simple person thinks leads to death, but the mind controlled by the Spirit leads, brings life and peace. And we definitely need life and peace forever in Jesus, and peace with God and peace of God. Let me pray for us. Lord Jesus, our body is dead because of sin. But your spirit is all, is alive because you have made been right with God. You live in us with your help and with your forgiveness. We receive your spirit to help us in our temptations 
and you replace the deadly flesh with your heavenly hope and power. Amen. Amen. And, that's and that's all, that's all we have for you today, today friends. Bye. Happy Independence Day, everyone. My name is Miss Andrea, and um, some of you might remember me from Sunday school. I hope you all are doing well. I do miss you all. I hope to see you soon. Um, wasn't today's puppet show a lot of fun, right? Can you all relate to Jimmy and Joe wanting that extra piece of cake, not doing your chores because you want to do something fun? Well, we all struggle with selfishness. Our hearts are often naturally in favor of ourselves because the sin of the flesh. But with God within us, the Holy Spirit helps us make right choices. This season celebrates Independence Day and Independence Day celebrates freedom. And our country celebrates freedom and we celebrate freedom in Jesus Christ.